Spiritual wounds and physical wounds have a lot in common, and let me just walk you through that. When you have a physical wound, it, 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 um, it requires care. And when you have a spiritual wound, it requires care. If ignored, a physical wound only gets worse. It festers, it grows, it gets infected. When you've got a spiritual wound, when you're dealing with your hurt, your anger, your bitterness, your wrath, your lack of forgiveness, without doing it in a way that's gonna actually help it be made better, it's only going to get worse. And it needs care. When you've got a physical wound, it has to be cleansed from dirt. You've got to get the dirt out of there or it's going to cause real problems. If you've got a spiritual wound, you've got to get the uncleanliness of sin and the anger of man and the lack of forgiveness out of it. Forgiveness, lack of forgiveness is like drinking poison and hoping somebody else dies. It will eventually distort you and, and make you into a monster. And we saw one unleashed on Thursday night. A, a physical wound, um, you know, is something that, that a surface healing doesn't work. I mean, you've got you to clean it out. I, I remember when I was uh, bitten by a brown recluse and it, and it began to eat my flesh. There was necrotic tissue, dead tissue, and it kept eating into my flesh. And there's a huge scar right here in my arm because all the way down to the muscle, they had to open my arm up and, and wipe it out and get to the very bottom and make sure we cut out any tissue that was dead and dying so it could begin to heal and work its way back out. A spiritual wound is the exact same thing. It has to be deeply dealt with, not in a surface way, not with just weekend memorial services, not with just a presidential speech, not with just a momentary gathering of black and white pastors, not just with a sense of, by the country again, where we're going, what's going on? The country has got to listen. The church has got to listen. I've got to listen and not just glance at the word of God, but let it be implanted in my souls where it can bear great fruit, not be just a, an, an ineffectual here, but become an effectual doer. With physical issues and physical wounds, only God ultimately heals. God's the one who coagulates blood. God's the one that allows um, my arm to, to almost regenerate and to fill back in. God's the one that, that ultimately is the, is the healer. We talked about last week. God can heal anytime he wants, any way that he wants. We, we've seen it happen again and again in scripture. We've seen it happen since then. It's not normal that God just does it, but God can heal. And frankly, all healing comes from God. But he often uses human instruments. God's given us minds. He's given us medicinal um, plants and, and different uh, things that, that are sanctified through the word of God and prayer and study that are useful to us. And human beings that God has given knowledge and information and tools to are often a part of the healing that ultimately God is behind. Physical wounds, God heals, but he often uses human instruments to bring that healing. Spiritual wounds, God could just wave a wand over the United States of America and make us well. But he typically uses humans who know him, who have been made well by him, who themselves are recipients of grace in order to bring grace to others. Spiritual healing is only a work of God. Some of you guys are so kind to come up to me and say things like, man, Todd, God used you in my life. I'm like, that's exactly right. God did the healing. He might have used my words by reminding you of the source of your healing. And I'm glad that I was an instrument of grace to you, but glory to God. I am a steward of the mysteries of God and a servant of Christ. And it's his healing that comes into your life. Not watermarks, not Todd's, Jesus. And what happens right now in our country is the church has got to be the instrument that healing comes. Not giving them a superficial place to go with some anesthetic surface alcohol smelling remedy that will last for a moment. But deal with the root issue. Church, this is your moment. And there are Micah Johnsons still all over our city, all over our country, all over our world. And Christ wants you to go to them and love them. And when they act out in anger, you realize it's hurt people that hurt people. And you just do what you can to say, man, tell me about that pain. Tell me about that frustration. 